Welcome to the big one on News at 10. The National Democratic Party, NDP, has sued the Electoral Commission for disqualifying its presidential aspirant from the December 7 general elections. The NDP has added the Attorney General to the case. The party is seeking an interlocutory injunction prohibiting and restraining the Electoral Commission and its agents from going ahead with the balloting of presidential candidates until the court settles the matter. On the line now, we have Alhaji Mohamed Frimpong, who is General Secretary of the NDP, is joining us. Uh, good evening, sir, and thank you for your time. So uh, this has come to our notice now. So tell me when you went to court. When exactly did you file this case? Thank you very much, and good evening to your viewers. Uh, our lawyers filed this writ uh, just around about uh, 2 p.m. Mm. this afternoon. And uh, what exactly are you praying the court to do? Well, we are praying the court to interpret correctly what the EC says about disqualification. Uh, what we are saying is that disqualification is operation of the law. First, the, there should be a conviction of the uh, alleged uh, double voter registrants sentence must be passed and uh, uh, the uh, culprit should serve the sentence before uh, the EC can establish a disqualification of the voter and then later take off the person's name from the voter's list. Uh, what we have said is that uh, this subscriber member of the NDP had not gone through, gone through this process when uh, we visited the NOP and got him to subscribe to the nomination of a presidential candidate. And therefore, a case of this qualification is not established by the EC. Uh, and we are also stating that even if that was the case, uh, the EC had ample time to notify uh, the party for any correction because after all, uh, each district is represented by two uh, subscribers or members of the party. Because we had almost about five uh, uh, members in the waiting for any such subscription. And therefore, uh, the reason that the EC is basing its disqualification on is untenable. Mm. Now, there are those who, uh, analysts, political watchers, actually say that these court cases against the Electoral Commission have the potential to affect the credibility of the election, especially we're looking at 50 days more to the polls. Are you not worried that uh, your case, as one of the cases, has the potential to impact the electoral process negatively? Thank you very much. We also think the other way around. We think that the EC is also not interested in conducting the elections on time uh, by its mass disqualification of presidential candidates uh, and not following the rules. Uh, the EC uh, might be suspected of some grand scheme of scuttling the 2016 elections. Is that how you see it? That the yes, EC that's, that's is, uh, is executing uh, a grand scheme to push aside smaller parties? Exactly. Right, but the commission last Monday said that some of the issues uh, that your your um, presidential candidate faced bordered on forgery, perjury, and deceit of public officer. Uh, hence, the issue has been referred to the police. Can you tell me whether your party has been invited by the police to answer any questions at all? Well, I think case of perjury, deceit, or whatever cannot apply to our case. In any case, if uh, there should be a criminal action. Uh, it is about double registration. And, uh, you know, if the EC was mindful, it should have served each uh, party alongside the four nomination forms a fully certified voters register. But I think its handling of this whole exercise was a little bit shabby and clumsy 
and therefore cannot resist. And that is why we are going to court. Right. Uh, the uh, EC, as well as political parties and presidential candidates, are all subject to law. And once it hasn't got the final judicial uh, authority on matters, you know, I think we must all wait uh, for the determination of uh, the court of computer jurisdiction on the matter. Right. And not rush, you know, to say that uh, particularly our party will be accused of perjury, deceit, or otherwise. Right. Alaji Frimpong, uh, grateful for your time. Thanks very much. Alaji Frimpong is the General Secretary of the NDP 